All right, guys, it is the home stretch. All I have to do is beat Amius, and I have Marius. This is already easy. This is in the bag. I'm gonna, you know, it's not, it's nothing to worry about. This is the last thing that I'm worried about. Luckily, I do believe we're on the easiest rotation, right? But dear God, that live arena bullcrap that we did, that I had to do, was just so annoying. Uh, Eleven live arena chests, guys. Eleven. Not a single zeal boot. And it takes way too long. 35 battles for a fucking chest? Are they on crack? And then they limit it by like, you know, the, the time limit. And then, well, I mean, I guess I understand servers and whatnot, but still. It's just a crappy mission to have to go through. Just doing live arena and forcing us to do live arena in general. But here we are. This is probably going to be the easiest rotation. This is how I beat it last time, by the way. I've done a video on this. Since then, oh, the video was basically, and I didn't come up with this, by the way. It was, um, it was Biohack, and I think it was, yeah, I think it was Biohack. I think I had him in the lead, though. So, the way this works is, because Jamarsa is on the team, anytime Cronum dies, he's going to be revived. And then he basically HP burns and brimstones Amius to death. Ideally, I would have more of a blessing for Cronum. I just don't have it. But this is basically full auto, right? Uh, I think if I remember, um, I have to find my video on it and I have to find, um, actually on, on my video, I'm pretty sure that it shows who made the comp. But I, I do know that he said, and I can confirm this, that you can basically just throw it on auto uh, after doing the initial setup and it's going to eventually do it. I fucking hate Amius because of all the bull crap that he does. He just kind of does whatever he wants. He's like, random bullshit, let's go. And then he just wins. Like, you could be right there down to his very last health, and then he just completely shits on you. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to take a shit right here, and you can suck it. Yeah, you can suck all that shit up. So, yeah, this is the team. Um, basically, Lydia's going to be here to stop him from reviving. When it's time, Jamarsa is here to die. Now, I did have Razzlevarg in here as somebody to put in the speed lead, but, and I'll show you my build. I actually had to break break um, a few champions to put this build on him because I broke Cronum's build since the last time uh, before Marius missions came out. And yeah, so now he's rebuilt in what I think, I, I have to recheck my video again because I don't remember the exact stats or how I did it, but I'm gonna kind of wing it here and we'll, we'll see. Now I know there's other comps that people are recommending, but I'm very lazy and I'm just gonna wing it here. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna die, and basically, let's go. Uh, that's that's the way that the cookie's gonna crumble. I'm gonna try and remember how I did this from the beginning. Now, if I remember correctly, we just keep a oneing until everybody dies. We got the brimstone. That's what we want. Everybody but Cronum needs to, Cronum and Wukong needs to die. Wukong is going to be the target whenever Amius does his moves to give Cronum more time to heal up. Uh, this is very gear intensive, uh, if I remember correctly. So now we just need to wait for everybody else to die. Lydia seems like she just doesn't want to die. And I think here we could actually, um, I could have actually used Cronum's HP burns. Get a few heals in. So th that happens this happens we really need Lydia to die I think I need to get a little bit of healing done so yeah because of the passive Cronum eventually or Cronum is of course going to come back to life we just really need Lydia to die but she's just not dropping after that we can just drop it on auto and call it a day assuming that everything works out the way that we hope for then we're gonna be good to go and I'll probably just speed this up and walk away and we'll see so it looks like Lydia's about to die here and we'll we'll test this out I, I can I can think I can throw this HP thing on now let's just hit this okay so Wukong takes it come on Lydia die please there you go and fuck all right Razzlevarg in the lead giving Cronum a boost and we're just gonna have to you know say F it with the accuracy I would have preferred to have him in the lead because right now Cronum uh, with my current regen immortal gear isn't going to be able to 100% uh, place or even more so reliably place the HP burns, but uh, we're just gonna have to see how it how it runs All right, and the reason I'm doing this entire thing and showing you guys everything is 
just because I'm going to speed everything up so you guys can see how it actually looks. That way there's no cuts and there's no questions about anything. Uh, you guys can just see it. I should have probably used Jamarsa to give him a little bit of a heal here, actually. Actually, no, I can still do it. So, get a nice heal here. The thing about Amius also that really sucks is even, even if um, you have, like, really high defense, his attacks, his the one where he shoots those two balls, ignores defense, I think. I forgot which one it is. One of his moves just hits really hard, ignoring... I think it's in, a, in his uh, second form, actually. Lydia is just tanky as crap. All right, let's put the HP burn on you so that we can hit our A2 and then heal. And, of course, the HP burn doesn't land. So, we're kind of SOL here. Yeah, ignores 100% of the target's defense. Increases damage by 20% for each debuff. That's a brutal move. Hold up. I'm so fucking stupid. I had him... I didn't have him in a regen set. I had him in Immortal. I had to change out the helmet. I had to take another piece of gear off of <laughs> Teox, but... Um, all right, now let's do this for realsies. My bad, guys. All right, so we're A1-ing. Hopefully everybody dies here. Except for Cronum and Wukong. Jamarsa lives. I don't know how she lived. I guess it's because she's... Uh, what do you call it? Level 60. I don't know why I maxed her out. You don't need to max her out. There you go. And I should have been paying attention to his health because he wasn't healing. He was only healing for like a thousand. I was like, why is he not really healing? All right. In a better position now, Lydia is... Why is Lydia... He oh, because she has the mastery. Do I have the mastery on Cronum? I feel like I should put that mastery on him. Every time Amius heals, Cronum heals too. see here gotta pay attention to when he does that all right so let's put the hp burns on that way we can start healing with our a2 there you go the nice thing also that you want to get going is to extend the durations of the hp burns which um chronum will do uh with his a1 and that's what we're looking for we just want to keep those hp burns up as much as possible and that's the name of the game. And then this just repeats on auto. I just, I got to throw it on auto after uh, Lydia dies, but she's, she's healing quite a bit and she's very tanky. I just need this to happen already. Come on, Lydia, die. Come on now. And let's go ahead and just throw some HP burns on him. And I think we can try to extend it as well. Hopefully his random BS. Okay, now we could, we should be able to throw it on auto. Let me just hit the A1 one more time there. All right, so let's see how this works. Now we notice that the HP burns are all the way up to eight. And you're probably thinking, you know, that that's a lot. But Amius moves so fast and he takes so many turns uh, because he just kind of does what he wants. So <laughs> look at that. The HP burn is all, already uh, back down to one. But, you know, it's increasing. Um, this is probably the best thing I can do without having to build an entire team and sit here for the entire uh, run. So from here on, I'm just going to walk away. I'll check in every now and then to see how it's going and then just keep hitting replay. And um, hopefully this is the run. I don't have to redo it again because fuck Amy is hard. Like I, I wish Polarium would nerf him already. And like he just needs to get bent. Fuck. Shit, we can't even set presets. Fuck. Fuck Amius, dude. I don't know why Polarium thinks that he was a good boss. He's not fun. There's nothing about him that I like, that anybody likes. We should take this, right? Let's switch this around. Um, increasing turn meter, deep of cast. Yeah, we definitely want that. But I do want shadow heal. I might, since we're only getting four accuracy, I might even just go around forget this and take this so yep i guess we're gonna do it so um let's take do we need extra res well, we're not taking extra defense 
So let's focus on this side first. Definitely want to take improved parry because crit hits are fucking us. Shadow heal, because every time he heals, we want to heal. Chance to remove a debuff. Um, we don't want to take this because he might take that and then reverse it. Take delayed death for sure. Mm, he doesn't do any of that, so we're not going to take that. But we are going to take a chance to counterattack. And let's hold off on going any further. Now, we want to take the accuracy for Sherzies. Take extra there. We're going to take this to get a chance to boost our turn meter because we want to be going as fast as Fiuk. Take the bonuses here. We don't need this. Um, let me see. Do we need anything here? Ally res? No, we're going to take um, Cycle of Magic. Although, um, I don't know if this is going to... Actually, no, this would fuck us. Right, because he has that he has that passive where anytime something like Cycle of Magic happens, we get screwed. So don't take Cycle of Magic. I might just leave this side alone for now. Um, we don't need this, but we're gonna take Extender, and we definitely want to take Accuracy, and this is important too. We want to be going as fast as possible, so we're doing that, and we're just gonna leave this alone. I think for now, as always, do not blindly copy Masteries, but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy masteries I'm just gonna go with this here all right now this time this is this is the way that Amius crumbles this is this is what we do here the annoying thing was every time um bro Wukong is really fucking us right now dude you see this every every single time Wukong is really taking it taking a shit on us here Let, let's go and uh his cycle of magic is really fucking us as well so Wukong needs to... I'm going to fix Wukong here. Yeah. There there goes gems again. There goes gems. Definitely want to keep taking accuracy, though. Um, every time a debuff is cast, boost his turn meter. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and take this for now. I'll re-look at everything uh, later on. Uh, let's take that, and then... Actually, we don't even really need anything from him. He, we just need him to be targeted and to die. So, yeah. That should be fine and dandy. I'm trying to think of this. Is there anything else? And just to show you guys their builds, this is Chronum's build. Um, uh, I'm just going to show you, talk to you guys about it real quick. Uh, Immortal regen, you need to be going fast enough and you need to have enough HP and accuracy to make this work right you need to be taking enough turns so that your uh heals pop off and you want enough accuracy to place the hp burns and uh, that's pretty much just about it uh, if you can get speed on speed that's great hp on hp is great i don't focus on defense just hp because he's going to ignore defense so as you can see low defense decently high hp this is, these aren't the craziest stats ever but this is what's working for me two or uh seven eight thousand 291 speed he's gonna go faster he's going over 300 with that boost from the masteries as well as uh razzlevarg in the lead so he's going closer to like i don't know uh, 350 something like that just you know do the math let me know and then 440 accuracy obviously worked if you could get it closer to 500 that would be a lot better so again priorities are hp speed accuracy scale it to your account and uh, fully booked, Brimstone. Uh, make sure you go in with Jamarsa. Uh, here are the masteries again, if you wanted to see it. I'll show you Sun Wukong one more time real quick. Actually, I didn't even show you Sun Wukong. So this is the Sun Wukong that I'm going for. We're not going with the Nuke Wukong. I'm pretty sure he could work, but we're going with Support Wukong. I'm not trying to do too much damage. Although I, now that I think about it, that might have helped, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, Perception, you just want him to be accurate. And this isn't like the craziest build. I honestly don't use support Wukong all that much unless I'm trying to uh, fuck with somebody in arena who's fucking with me. Fully booked, polymorph. Here are the masteries. I'll uh, add this on. Actually, I could probably do it right now. Uh, going for accuracy. And I'll think about this other section later. Probably just going around this route here. Uh, I don't really care about him surviving too much. Uh, I'll just take this standard route here and... Um, if I could place leech, yeah, that that could uh that could help. Uh, let's just go this standard route. Actually, I should have probably taken master hexer. Fuck. 
Uh, we could take this again, take that, and then um, why not? We'll take that. So uh, that's Wukong that I can do while I'm while I'm here. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll we'll just see. Uh, maybe I can play with his um, his A3 a bit just to see if I can manipulate it in a way where he uses it right after this. So then it kind of just flows better. Uh, I don't know what the app description is. Like, if I use it right now, he's going to take it, place block buffs, and that's going to screw everything. But if I time it, like right now, and then place the block buffs, whenever Amius wants to take it, it's going to, I guess, fit better so that he doesn't do... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's just extend it for now. We're still waiting on Lydia to die. Place it right now. That way it's already used up. So we'll see. All right, so now he's dead. Still waiting on Lydia to die here. I'm gonna keep extending. HP burns as much as possible. And let's extend because her HP is still good. Like, I, I feel like if, if I just did this on auto, or if I did this on manual, it would be, I'll probably be done with it already, but I, I don't know. I, I I have something against just sitting here and doing it, but then again, I'm already doing that. So, I don't know. Oh, Lydia's dead. All right, I'll be back. Be back. Oh shit, nice. I, I stepped away to go eat something. I didn't uh I didn't expect it to be done so soon, but hey, you know it is what it is. We do it, we do it, fuck Amy is boy!